So in this video, we're going to learn how to get 3D print models off of the internet, how to use Prusa Slicer, and how to start your 3D print. First, we're going to learn how to get 3D print models off the internet. What I'm going to do first is just search what I'm looking for and add 3D print model at the end of it. As you can see, there's quite a few options for it, but we're just going to pick this first one here. And as you can see, there's a bunch of different options. You can see all the different models. Some of them have the 3D model. Some of them have actual pictures of what people have printed. And this is just one website. There's actually several. Here's another example of one. This is Thinkverse, which I also like to get some off of. You can see there's just a bunch of different stuff. I'm pretty sure if you're thinking about 3D printing it that somebody else has already thought of it first and they have it on their website. So this is the actual website for our printer. It's called Prusa Printers website and it's all the people who have Prusa printers like we do and they post their 3D prints. Um, the difference with these though, however, you can see this one has time and how much filament and which nozzle um, and which printer they used. So it's kind of already set for our printer. So if you go to download this one, you can see that there's different models and this first model right here is the uh, full g code so it's already g coded and ready to print from our printer right away there's no second step in it you can directly download this to the 3d printer sd card but for today we're going to be um making these turtles here as you can see we got off of thinkverse they have a bunch of different pictures of them people have painted them and this is the file we're going to use today So we're gonna go ahead and press this button and download it to our computer and you can see it's downloading the files. And you'll wanna click on the file to open once uh, it has downloaded. So we're just gonna go click it down here. And you'll wanna open the file and you can see all the different parts of the turtle listed here. I'm gonna open the bottom one so we can see it. And um, it'll open the Windows 3D model, so this is what that looks like, and you can move around and see which kind of part it is. But this is where we are going to learn how to use the Prusa Slicer, which is the software that's made for our printer specifically. So we're going to open up Prusa Slicer. And the first thing you want to do is go to File and Import, and you're going to go and find those files that you just downloaded from the Turtle. And for this one, we're gonna need a bunch of different parts to make one full turtle. So I'm gonna control select all the parts I need. And then I'm gonna press open. So that way we can uh, put it into our Prusa slicer. So as you can see, it's on the mat, but they're all together on top of each other. So you can click them and move them over and arrange them on the board however you want. And for this print, we're going to need two of these little H clips. So I'm going to copy. I'm going to copy for the H clip and then paste. So we have two of them now. And we're going to rearrange everything just so, just however you want, really. There's no particular order to it. You can move it around and see your 3D print from all different angles. And this on the side actually has to do with speed and quality of the print. So there's a bunch of different settings and they all affect how long your print is going to take. Let's say you want a higher quality, um, you would take, pick like this one, 0.20 millimeters. And it would just take a little bit longer, but I like to go with the speed one. It still prints pretty good and it takes a little bit less time. You want to make sure the right printer is selected. And there's usually uh, spots for supports, and but we're not using any for this one. You can see all the different statistics. So we're ready, and we're going to go ahead and um, pick the filament. You can pick different ones. Um, I have a generic one set because it's not a specific Prusa one. Uh, you can actually go to the settings and change the color of the filament. That way you can get a more accurate depiction of what your print is going to look like. And this one, I chose the blue uh, filament because we have one of those you can also change the temperatures of the nozzle and the bed while you're there also or you can do it on the printer so i went ahead and sliced it so what this is going to do is to get your 3d print model and slice it into a bunch of little tiny layers that eventually are going to build your 3d print you can move it around still and look at it 
This little chart on the left hand corner shows you um, how long each part is going to take and how much filament is used on each little section of your print. You can see certain parts take more time, certain parts are very fast. Um, just some more statistics for you. Uh, on the bottom right corner, it's going to show you how long it's going to take. Right here it says five hours and, and five minutes. So we're going to export G-code and we're going to go ahead and rename it. So you'll want to leave the back part because it tells you all the statistics of the print, like the type of filament and the time. So we're just going to put lion turtle example and save it. And then after this step, you're going to go to your files and find where you downloaded it. And then you're going to want to click and drag to the USB that has the SD card converter. So that way your model is now on the SD card and you can see it right there. That's the one that we're looking for. So we'll just make sure it's on there. And that's it. And now we're ready to go to the printer. So once you have transferred your G file onto the SD card through the converter, you're going to go ahead and turn the machine on back here. And then you'll see the screen turns on. And there's a little slot on the side that you're going to insert the SD card. And it'll say sorting files. And then it'll show you the list of everything that's on your SD card. So before you start your print, you're going to want to clean the metal plate. And what you want to clean it with is 90% or above isopropyl alcohol. And we have some here for your use. So what you're going to do is get a paper towel or something and get a little bit on there. So I spilled a little bit. And you're going to want to wipe the board while it's room temperature, not while it heats up because then it'll evaporate the alcohol and it won't work to clean the board. So you're just going to clean it. And then when it dries, you're going to place it back on the board. And there's little hinges that you can see right here and right here to where the sheet fits exactly inside the plate that it goes on. So with the clean board, you're going to find the two divots that you're going to stick on it. And the plate is actually magnetic, so you'll feel a really strong pull. So you got to be careful not to pinch your fingers. But you want to place it in to where the notches are and then you're gonna let it go down like that. And then it should be lined up evenly. And now you're gonna get ready to use the screen and start your print. So here's a closer look of the divots I was talking about. You can see they fit right into there. So what you wanna do is you wanna push them so they meet in on both sides and lock it down that way it's ready to go. So now that you've cleaned the board, and you have placed it in the right place. Assuming this is the color filament you want to use, it's already ready to go, I've already loaded it. What you're gonna do is go to the main menu, and this is the main menu right here. You'll see preheat, print from SD card, auto load filament, unload filament, and those are what you use to change the color if you ever wanted to. So right now we're gonna to go to print from SD card and you're just gonna press the knob to select. And then here is a list of all the 3D G codes that are in your SD card that you renamed, some that are preloaded. So what we're looking for is one of our spiky turtles. We're gonna do turtle spike, which is this one and it tells you the name of it. And it also tells you at the end how long it's gonna take so we're going to select it and now you can see that the bed is heating up and that the um, the nozzle is heating up. The top one is the nozzle temperature and the bottom is the bed temperature. So we're just going to wait for that to heat up and then um, we'll see it start as soon as it reaches the temperatures it's supposed to. So now the heating is done and it's going to start the calibration. This is what it does every time that you print. It's just measuring out the spots on the heat plate. That way it can correctly print out your print.
And that one's gonna print out a test strip of the filament. And it prints it out right on the top. On that one spot. And at first it starts with the brim. So this is gonna be the outer outline of your print, as you can see. It's just a thin, small line that's gonna mark out where your print is gonna be at. And while your print is going, you can notice the different heights of the filament, and you can also go to the screen and live adjust how far the nozzle is from the plate. So right here, I like to keep it around 1.22, 1.25, but you can go up or down if you need to, depending on how your print is coming out. You can also go to tune, and it'll tell you how fast it's going, the heat nozzle, that you can adjust the different uh, heat settings for the nozzle as you're going to if you feel like it's not hot enough. You can also adjust the bed heat on there as well. Right now the fan is not on, but you can also change filament in the middle of your print session if you wanted to do two different colors. But right now we're just doing a simple one, so it's just gonna be the one color. And I've already tested it, so the temperatures have worked and stuff. You can also pause and stop your print. So it'll tell you a bunch of different stuff about your statistics while the print is going on and after the print is done. We're just gonna go back to the info screen while it's printing out this first layer. And the filaments are on this little ledge thing where they can freely roll back and forth as the print is going so that it doesn't mess up the way the printer is working. And you can see a little bit how it's starting there. And again, these are just the little slices that the computer sliced up your object and it's going one by one and it's gonna slowly build until you get your full product. As you can see, there's a little bit of the first part there. And then it just keeps going and you just want to kind of keep an eye on it as it's going to make sure that it, the print is still doing okay and that nothing is messed up. That way you don't mess up your printer just from a simple mistake. When your print is done, you'll see that it says the time, how long it took, that it was 100% successful and that it's cooling down so now you can see that the temperature is not um, set so you'll see your print ready to go the machine will stop so what you'll want to do is take off the ends and then take it off and then you'll kind of want to pop the them off of the board that way you don't pull or mess around with it too much so to pop it off you'll want to kind of bend it a little bit bend it and then they'll be easily removed from the plate. Then you'll go ahead and take the brim off and then you've got a clean board. <laughs>